would you please stand? All right, baby. I got to get her coming down the aisle. <laughs> Family and friends of the invitation of Blakely and Jimmy were gathered here today to witness and celebrate their union and marriage. He's ready to get this an open This celebration that we will see and hear is an inner expression of the love and devotion that they have for each other. We're reminded today that God is the author of love, and love is of God. So it is for this that Blakely and Jimmy come together, desiring to be united in this relationship. Jimmy, do you now leave your old life to establish this union with Blakely as her husband, to receive her as your wife, to make a home where she will be loved and cared for as long as God grants her life? And so say I do. Blakely, do you now leave your old life to establish this union with Jimmy as his wife, to receive him as your husband? to make a home where he will be cared for and loved as long as God grants him life. If so, say, I do. I do. Who's giving this woman to be married to this
today that lately and throughout the I mean, it's Christmas. Lately and Jimmy formally and publicly make their vows to each other. And although this ceremony is definitely a high point in their relationship, marriage is a journey. It is not a destination. Their union is more than any one event or promise or a ceremony. Marriage is a way of life. This is a point because I'm here and you're there. I get to take just a personal minute in your ceremony. I think we all know that Blakely and Jimmy met at the depth of the landing at the top of the escalators when Blakely was a fabulous new intern at the landing working for a lot of us at the fabulous prize wheel. <laughs> and after that meeting, the very next day, Blakely and Jimmy shared their first date together. The first date was at Dave and Buster's, and um, it was a fabulous date. But it's really a wonder that they made it past that first date. <laughs> because Jimmy wasn't eating ketchup on his french fries, and in typical Blakely fashion, she called him a weirdo right there. <laughs> so Jimmy decided to go for the ketchup, and shortly thereafter, he was pouring sweat because ketchup makes him sweat. <laughs> and there we find Blakely and Jimmy cementing their relationship, leading them up to this day here before each of us. Likely, despite the months that it took us how to learn how to even spell your name, much less say it, all of us at the Jacksonville Landing quickly fell in love with you. And it has been such a joy and privilege to watch you grow into the wonderful young woman that you are. You brought so much light into our lives, as well as into the life of all of us that surround you here today. That first date was August 29, 2009. Since that time, likely you and Jimmy have grown together. Your love for each other has brought you here to this day. Jimmy, we agree with you when you said that you were the luckiest single man that ever could be. <laughs> your dream of living near palm trees, driving a Jeep Wrangler with a hot blonde in the front seat and a black lab in the back is almost fulfilled except you'll have to deal with a Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> we share this day with Blakely and Jimmy. It's their day to join together and begin as one with the one that they love the most. Each of you were invited here today to be a part of this special moment, this new beginning, not as Blakely and Jimmy, but as two becoming one. Now to the bride and groom. The time has come to forget the stress of planning this day and to soak up the love from those of us that surround <coughs> us. It comes from the love that you share for each other. As you've chosen to live your lives together and begin as husband and wife. Marriage is the clasping of hands. It is the blending of hearts, the union of two lives into one. Your love and time together has prepared you for this day. But after today, your marriage you must not stand by the authority of the state or the seal that's on your marriage license, but by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in each other. Jimmy, take a moment and think about the quality that you love most in Blakely. Blakely, think about the quality that you love most in Jimmy. When you meet your challenges in life, which you certainly will, try to always remember those qualities and remember this time here together that you share with each of us. Forever. He, he forever would be a simple other smile. He, he said he was what, what was missing. He said he instantly knew. 
you are the person to get that to and who gets the work. I do. People are like cities. We all have alleys and gardens and secret rooftops and places where babies stop to spend a time at home. But most of the time, I'll let each other see the big book like a skyline or a college square. Love lets you find those hidden places in another person, even the ones that don't think they're there, even the ones that never thought to call you to build themselves. The most important part of a wedding ceremony are the vows. From a legal perspective, the vows represent the declaration of intent, which is the oath that Likely and Jimmy will share in marriage. These vows are extra special because Likely and Jimmy have written them for each other. They're special because they're from the depths of their heart. in my own handwriting. <laughs> um, it feels like just yesterday, I was pulling up to your house to pick you up for our very first date. You were the hot blonde up front. <laughs> Walk to New York at <laughs> I like to know you, the little New York at these last five years. last five years, they've been the best five years of my life. You've made me a better man. You're the brightest light in every room you're in. It's impossible not to smile when you're around. <laughs> uh, it's possible not to smile when you're around. You make me the richest man in the world. I look forward to a lifetime of end. I work for cuddles and you're in my house. <laughs> I promise to always support, honor, respect, and most of all, love you for the rest of my life. From this point on, it will be the first thing I see when I wake up and the last thing before I go to sleep. <laughs> I promise to always kiss you good morning and kiss you good night. I promise to let you watch Sunday morning every week in bed, and I promise not to watch too much when you're watching the white socks on the phone during dinner. <laughs> I promise to always be the hope and inspiration you need and the light at the end of your tunnel. I'll support you in every decision you make and stand by your side through the good and bad. I promise to always make your blueberry and cakes on Saturday morning, now that we're not on a wedding day. <laughs> When you're grouchy on Sunday mornings because it's almost Monday, and when you're even grouchier on Monday mornings because it is Monday, <laughs> and you can't find my socks, I'll be there with a smile to help. <laughs> Our love, in my opinion, puts fairy tales to shame, and makes storybook jealous, and you will forever be my Prince Charming, and I'll always love you as much as I you today anymore, you will forever be my Prince <laughs> and Jimmy have chosen to exchange rings with each other. Their wedding rings declare publicly that as unique individuals, they've chosen to be bound together. They're round, of course, so that their rings have no beginning and they have no end, which symbolizes your love for each other, as it too has no beginning or no end. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises that you're making here today. So Jimmy, you take Lakely's ring, place it on her finger, and repeat after me. <laughs> I, Jimmy, give you, Lakely, this ring. It is a seal of my promise to be your faithful and loving husband, but God is my witness. 
Blakely, you take Jimmy's <laughs> ring and place it on his finger and repeat after me. I, Blakely, I Blakely give you Jimmy this ring. Give you Jimmy this ring. It is a seal of my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife, with God as my witness. You place these rings in each other's hands as a visible reminder of the vows that you're making here today. That they have given you the title of husband and wife. Titles that say to the world, this is the one person that I chose to call my own. To hold above all others, today and for the rest of my life. Likely and Jimmy have chosen to blend two different versions of moonshine into one to feel this day. There is one jar of moonshine that is a Georgia peach flavored moonshine. The other moonshine is, of course, the apples from Wisconsin. And so just as these two moonshines started this ceremony in separate glasses, they'll be joined together into one glass similar to the way that Jimmy and Blakely are to be joined into one, never to be separated again. Jimmy, you may kiss your wife. 